South Africa needs to prioritize investments in innovation and technology and human capital development to position itself to take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution. That's the word from the metals and engineering in Daba underway in Joburg this week. Delegates heard South Africa needs coherent strategies to ensure the country increases its competitive advantage. There are concerns that the fourth industrial revolution will lead to job losses, especially for the low-skilled workforce. But delegates had that this belief is misinformed. It's believed the fourth industrial revolution will create more jobs, but they will require high-end skills. Dr. Tulani Zamini of the CSIR says failure to prepare for the changing world will result in South Africa getting left behind and unable to compete at a global level. The one issue that we need to really take very seriously is the role of innovation in industrialization and industrial development. And that we invest um, in developing technologies locally. But of course, if there are opportunities for us to bring in technologies from other parts of the world that we can localize and adopt and adapt them for our specific environments, we need to do that. So that's one issue. The second issue is around human capital development. I think one can never uh, overemphasize the significance of human capital development. Government says it's putting in place initiatives to ensure schools produce the relevant skills needed by the economy. Given the rapid nature of uh, change within our economy, certain skills which some students are being trained for may actually be outdated when they complete their uh, uh, courses. And that's why we constantly work with, as the department, our universities and universities of technology to review uh, you know, their curriculum and to ensure that they are up to date in order to meet the needs and demands of the market. The Steel and Engineering Industries Federation of Southern Africa, SAFSA, says there hasn't been much investment in new technology in the manufacturing sector. The reasons are the sector is struggling to be competitive on the back of high input costs and the tough market conditions. The sector has been struggling. There have not been the kinds of profits generated that would have made it profitable for companies to invest in, 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 in technology. But also the other factor worth keeping in mind is that there are about 11,000 companies in the metals and engineering sector. The vast majority of them are small, employing no more than 50 people, single, single uh, family owning this or that company. So you have the, the big listed companies and multinational companies, but in this bigger scheme of things, they are a minority in the metals and engineering sector and in, 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 uh, in manufacturing generally compared to the, bigger, the, the, the overall number of companies in the sector. Delegates hit that while South Africa may be a bit behind in terms of being prepared for the fourth industrial revolution, when compared to countries it wishes to compete with, the country should be taking steps to invest in innovation, to drive industrialization, and to position itself for the future. Lura Safago Mosi, SABC News, Johannesburg.